Hey, 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 it's Tia, baby. And I am back with another video, part three. So I've been reading a lot of the comments in the previous video section, as well as the um the part one, but I'm gonna just dig into part two. So a lot of a lot of you guys are some are in agreement with me and some aren't, and that's fine. You don't have to be in agreement with me. Um, I had I got a lot of oh she could never because she's so faithful in her religion or she she was more into the marriage than than Chris. Let me stop you there. I'm a, like I said, I never said that she did it. I never confirmed that she did it. I said when I first heard about it, honestly, deep down, I felt like it could have happened because she is not perfect. She is human. We don't know what was going on between her and Chris behind closed doors. Every relationship has issues. No relationship is perfect other than um, God. No relationship on this earth is perfect people may choose to do the unthinkable and people may not and then i somebody said in the comments as well that um because she was um religious because she's she was um she believed in god or whatever or holy or whatever I'm, these aren't the exact choice of words that she could never cheat just because let me explain this prime example martin luther king jr those that know who Martin Luther King is, he was a God-fearing man. That means he was very into his Christianity. That means he was a family man. He was he he is the reason why all races can co coexist together without you know violence and and um the things that they endured back in the um back in the civil rights now there's still some racism that still exists and there's still some balance towards races that exist but not as much as it was when he was living and he played a, a pivotal role in unity him Mar malcolm x a lot of um rosa parks um whoever um a lot of other people even non black americans were a part of the civil rights um, movement and they you know passed away due to them being brave and trying to make a difference um but he was a pastor martin luther king was a pastor people don't know that martin's um, real name was michael his birth name was michael luther king but he changed it to martin luther king as he got older but let's, let's, let's continue. He was a pastor. He was a God-fearing man. He was a family man. He was a married man. He was a father. He was a civil rights leader. He was very well-liked and very well-inspired, um, looked up to from many, many people. And no one thought that Martin Luther King was capable of infidelity. But yes, Martin Luther King had cheated on Coretta. But people wouldn't have known that because look at how they, they look so happy. He was devoted. He was still devoted to his wife. She was very much devoted to him. But allegedly, he was having numerous affairs. I found that out from the movie Salma, but it's also tapes allegedly tapes from the fbi sh revealing how that he was in a lot of numerous affairs and it was some among some other things i didn't know it was that many i did not know it was that many but it was a lot so you that this is another example you cannot put things past people you cannot say because they come off this way that they aren't this way you cannot say that anymore because michael i mean martin luther king was a very positive very devoted married christian man but he still is human and he did the unthinkable he 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 stepped out on his marriage he had he did allegedly he did 
And so I'm saying, I'm not saying that she did. I'm saying that it's possible because she is human. Just like her brother, um, a, a B C D F G. He has been in, he has he has not been faithful to any of his wives. Allegedly, he has not been faithful to any of his wives, which is probably why Selena really didn't want um Chris to be going solo because she watched other music musicians do, um you know being unfaithful to their spouses and she probably watched her own brother. You never know. So no one is invincible of doing the unthinkable. But I'm not saying she did. I hope she didn't do that. Especially when she talked about that she was against infidelity. Especially when she talked about it's unforgivable when a man, when someone cheats on their significant other. Especially when she said that, yes, they go through issues, but they are friends and they talk about it again they get through it and that why does he have to go with another be out with another woman when he has me so the fact of the matter that she has talked about this and out of her own mouth was against infidelity yes it will be very heartbreaking to know to find out that she actually did the opposite yes however it still doesn't negate that she probably had because we are all human. And then this woman in the comment section is talking about she didn't, she, she couldn't do it because she was faithful. And like I just brought up Martin Luther King, just because, and then she talking about, I, and she says she never cheated. Okay, good for you. You may have never cheated, but I'm sure you thought about it. I'm sure you thought about it. That I'm, I'm, I'm not saying 100% of people in this earth in this world has cheated but i'm sure the thought of it has crossed uh, everyone's minds but people have made the choice not to or or to do it cheating is a decision it's not a mistake let me get that straight there is no mistake in cheating there is no mistake at all that is a choice a conscious choice that is a choice let me say it again it's a decision it's a choice it's a bad decision and a poor choice. No excuse needed. No excuses for cheating. Yeah, we may. There are things that may um, make it easier to cheat, like having some issues in a in a relationship or marriage, or you know, you might be intoxicated and you you know impaired thinking. But at the end of the day, it's still a decision, and and everybody has a conscience. And people choose to use it or not when it comes to cheating, because it come when it comes to every every life choice. So, like I said, people and and I had to you know govern myself because I've been a cheat, I've cheated before, and because I've been cheated on numerous of times before, I look at it in a different lens. I look at it in a different lens. Before I was like, it's impossible. She couldn't do that because this is look at how she is with him. Da, 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 da. We do not know. We do not know. And it is not impossible if she did. She is not a bad person because she did. She if she did do it, allegedly, she made a bad choice. She made a bad decision, a poor decision, but she is not a bad person. No one who has cheated on someone is a bad person. They just made a poor decision, a poor choice. You okay? What makes it forgivable is you you acknowledge what you did, you work on it, and you don't do it again. And also pray. But if you're constantly doing it, then you're yeah, it's unforgivable. If you're constantly doing it and doing it and doing it and you just don't care, then yes. It's unforgivable. But if you are consciously aware of what you did and own up to your indiscretions and work on it and don't do it again, it's forgivable. It's forgivable. And if she did, it's forgivable. If she chose to work on it and been honest and be honest or whatever, but we, we don't know. Like I said, we don't know if she did or not. I don't believe she 100% cheated on him cheated on with him i don't think that i mean some flirtation maybe but i don't think no 
I don't think she slept with him. No, I don't. I really don't think she did. I don't think it. I don't think so. And women, now, I'm going to, if somebody said, oh, he's, don't, I wouldn't be, you know, talking, you know, being mean about the doctor's looks. I'm, I'm being real. The doctor is not attractive. It may, to me, he may be attracted to somebody else, but not to me. And, um, Selena, um, I don't really know her type, but I don't think it's the old guy type. No, I do think that, yes, she does cling to personality, but I do believe that, you know, attraction is key. I do. And I do not think that, and most women, when we are intimate, it's emotional. Men, they can do it and not, and not have any emotions attached. So a man can easily be intimate with someone and they can be unattractive because they're just trying to get, you know, their rocks off. But a woman, they it's emotional. So it comes with the person has to have personality and has some type of attraction to them for them to do the do. It's different. Men can do the do with anybody and everybody and not be emotionally attached they can detach themselves because they are hunters they are um they they're hunters they're 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 natural hunters just like animal male animals they're natural hunters i don't want to say the p word p-r-e-d-a-t-o-r i really don't want to say that word um but that's what they are naturally so they don't look at appearance all the time Especially if they just want to be intimate, then they're, they're not going. They're not going to really pay attention to um, um, appearance. They're going to, you know, they just trying to get, you know, and that's it. Now, if they're in a relationship, that's something different. But if they're not, then yeah. So, but I don't think in that case with Selena, I don't think she slept with him. Do I think there was some flirting going on? Um, allegedly, I I do, but I don't think that I don't think it crossed any lines than more than that. Even when you see that only picture of them two hugging, the way they hug, it was not intimate. It was like a regular, um, friendly hug. Like she didn't even look like she was that comfortable hugging him. Like she looked like she she only had her face on his, like touching his face when they were hugging. But it was like a side hug, and you see a little bit of space in between. But that's it. Like it's not intimate. Like she was with Chris. She was very intimate and very. Um, into him when he she hugged him. This man she hugged from the side. You can just tell. Okay, and then some people had said, "Oh, Chris was not as enthusiastic of in the marriage as um, Selena." Who 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 said that? That man was in love with that girl. That man was over the hills in love with her. Do he express it like, "Oh my gosh"? No, he didn't. He's a man. Most men don't really do all that mushy gushy stuff. But he was very much in love with her. Very much. And he took her his marriage serious. He supported her. He did what he had to He did what he could do at the age of 23, 24. For a 24-year-old, he was very much into her. Very much into his marriage. Very much mature for his age. So stop it with the Selena was um, more um, into the marriage than he was. They both equally were into the marriage. Yes, the careers and things were messing their marriage up, but they were both, they did the, the best they could at the age that they could. And stop with the, oh, if Selena was alive, that we don't know if they would have been married. Don't prey on negativity like that. You don't know what they could have. They, they, it, there are plenty of people who started so young and still together to this day. So don't sit up there and say that. Don't put that type of energy in that marriage. Oh, if they were this, if she was still alive, she wouldn't be married to him. We don't know that. They could have had, they could have had a trial separation for a while and then got back together. You don't know that. You don't know that. Look at the parents, your grandparents, your great grandparents, or whatever. They would, some of them been together as um, married since they were teens, and they're still together. It had they every marriage and relationship have bad times and good times. It's up to the people, the two people that are in the relationship, 
to work on it 100% because it is a job and it's hard work. And I really do feel that as they got older, they probably would have worked even harder on their relationship because they have a more mature mind and understanding. So don't sit up there, stop with the, I don't think that she would, they would have been together if she was still alive. We do not know that. And why would you even say, even if you thought that, keep it to yourself. Period. I was just putting, I'm just putting on this video, short video to let you guys know that no, I don't want her to be, to, to have cheated, but don't put it past her or anybody else. And there are leaders, like I said, like my, my uh, Martin Luther King, who are, who was, you know, came off as a promising man. And he is, especially to the African-American um, culture and at all cultures. He brought everyone together. He was a part of a movement, but he still was human and he still had in, in a flaws. So if he can do that, Selena could. Chris could. So and so could. You could. I could. Whatever could. I mean, come on. That's all I'm trying to say here. I'm not trying to pin no fingers at her or anybody. I'm just saying that it could be possible because we are all human. Heck, you never know. Dictator could have been unfaithful to um, to Marcella in their younger years or latter years. We don't know. We do not know. But check out that video that I um that I did a few years ago about her, him and Yolanda. They could have had a love affair allegedly. Um, it was just theory. I'm not saying that it's true, but I'm just saying just I just made me think about it. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I'll come back with another video soon. Peace.